Welcome to iBadWorse. I'm laughing because today I'm reviewing Wadworth 6X and all that was going through my head is, is that double porn? Double, triple X. <clears throat> Getting a look from Madam Director. This is Wadworth 6X, um, brewed in Wiltshire Devices. This is a 4.3, 500ml uh, and it's been around a while. So looked on that there internet uh, and it says on the Wadsworth website that's really difficult blah, 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 um, that it used to be a 6% um, and I'm wondering or we were wondering if that's where the 6x comes from but sort of during the war years it was reduced to a 4.3 and then a 4.1 uh, because of rationing and resources um, and it's 4.1 on tap 4.3 in the bottle ah oh. What am I getting? No idea, not read the back. Let's get it open and, uh, and go for it. Okay. So I thought I'd go for a trad barrel glass for this one. Should have got me a flake. That's not bad. I've poured worse than that. Come on. i much worse. I'm quite chuffed with that one. Okay. So we have a sort of typical chestnut. Yeah. Bitter. We've got loose bubbles rapidly dissipating. Looks to be pretty much crystal. Let's give it a sniff. So, on the nose, copper, a little bit of white pepper, a little bit of coffee there, but sort of that copper metallic nose. Let's see how she tastes. Yeah, look at that, the head's almost gone now. Cheers, everybody. So, first thing to notice. Got a thin mouthfeel, far thinner than I was expecting, a bit watery. Let's go in again. Like a very gentle, burnt, smoky bitterness. Confused look on face. So if you go on the website, they say, oh, this is the one that people come back to. And I'm thinking, why? It's not bad, but it certainly isn't anything to shout home about at all. Really don't get this. A little bit of smoky sort of malty bitterness there. No big flavors. fades to sort of nothing really it's not really drawing you back um, it is not a big flavor at all so very much a traditional beer I think we get used to um, big flavors these days uh, all, certainly the craft beer guys you know with a mango and kumquat and whatever it is you know big punch in the mouth flavors uh, and some of the IPAs you know the big hopped grapefruit flavors that smack you in the mouth so I think we're quite accustomed to big flavors but um, yeah, okay. So if I'm honest, I don't know what all the fuss was about. Really, I don't know what the website is on about when they say, "Oh, this is their signature beer." Um, is it me? Am I not getting it? Over to you guys. Have you tried it? Did you like it? Did you know like it? Um, I would say this is a good example of a traditional bitter, but nothing to shout home about. Shout home about? Is that the word? Shout out about or uh, to write home about. I'm getting my metaphors mixed up. Yeah, take it or leave it. Um, may not order another one. If I add it on tap, I might move on to the next one. Saying that, this is the bottle, so I wouldn't be opening another one. Mmm. Um, be interesting to know what that 6% tasted like, um, you know, 
if they were to do that, bring that one back, that would be interesting. Um, but sorry, guys, I'm not. I'm not overly impressed. Okay, over to you guys. Tell me what you think. Tell me where I'm going wrong. Oh. Hmm. There you go. Cheers.